Greetings. Thanks for tuning in to channel. Peace if you can find it. I turned 70 June the 20th. And don't pay no attention to this HD high definition. But FB got it in for me. They didn't even let my 65 friends know it was my birthday. They won't let any of my posts and memes drop. They don't want me on there anymore. And I'm getting the message. <laughs> I'm a diehard because I've been on there since for 2009. So, but they're kicking me to the curb. And I didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I swear I did not. I put my hands on the Bible. Which means nothing. But I didn't do anything. I see things on there. My goodness. It makes me blush. So what did I do? And just like on here. YT. I can comment on other people's channel. And I'm the only fool. That has a channel. That go to other people's channel. And listen and learn. And, and comment. I've learned that it seems to be taboo. For people with a channel, big time people, if you got 50, uh, what you call it, members, what, what do you call them, uh, subs, subscribers, yeah, they don't, you never see they comment nowhere, it's only people whose name is users 76PLG2572, or they don't have a face. But I leave my comment and no one can see it. When I go back to that channel, only one like and the other channels around it have 120. They have 300. So I'm, I'm learning the game. But I have went to those channels that have all these high likes. <laughs> duds. They're duds. They have no picture, no face. That's what I call them. I don't even respond to them no more. But I'm learning the game. They have no videos, no playlists, nothing. That's just what they do all day long. It's harass people. So I learn now. I'm learning. It's, it's a game that you have to learn. But yeah, with Shadow Band, see, if people, but even big channels don't see my uh, comments. I don't know what it is. Someone told me a long time ago that my IP address had been um, compromised. And it looked like my Gmail address. His name, yeah, I, I kept it in my history of reports. But if someone see your comment, because this is how it used to be a long time ago when I used to be on Phil Scott channel. It was nice until I said something one time. That's when it began. I said I was listening to someone until she pulled out that Bible. And ever since then, it's been problems too. But if people see your comment, then they say, oh, I like her. She always, I like the way she think or I don't like the way the bee think, whatever. But they will go to your page, your channel rather. And then that is almost possibly that they may become a subscriber. That's all I'm trying to say. So I have been hindered, blocked for the last three years. I think some of my videos are pretty good. I say some logical things. You know, some people that just scramble eggs get 2,000 subscribers. But it's been three years. And I've seen like I'm bitching and moaning. I don't care because I'm so grateful to those who do listen, I am. Quality is better than quantity. I'm just telling you the system on here. It's a system. I don't get it. I don't get it. So I think it's my IP address, my Gmail address, or even my handler name, which is peace if you can find it. Because how do they know it's me when I leave a comment to ghost it? How could I be that important? What the hell did I say that I'm that important? And you let others on here that you're saying all kind of any and everything. What? Anyway, I'm going to end. That's enough for that. I appreciate you listening. 
I do. I do, whether you listen or not. It's just me speaking into my diary. You know, this is good therapy for me. Like I said, self-therapy. I am so grateful for this shit. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to write a book. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm done with digital dictaphones and writing and shit. I like this shit, okay? It's good for me. It's self-therapy. It's talking this shit out. Shit coming in and shit coming out, okay? I got to get rid of this shit that's coming in. Because I'm not going to stop looking at the news. I am addicted to uh, geopolitics and world news. The whole fucking planet. I want to know what's going on, people. And it just don't look good for us. It really don't. We are gonna. But a lot of people don't even know it. Dancing and shouting and singing on these shorts and shit in these commercials. They don't even know what's going on in the other parts of the world. The people higher up that don't give a shit about us. They are ready to do everybody in. But you know what? I don't believe that's true. Because then if they do somebody in, then somebody going to do them in. And that means them and they matches and they bungalows and they safe rooms too. They children, they nephew, all their money. I mean, they, you won't be able to drink water, eat the food, breathe the air. If it becomes tit for tat, if they release the button on you too. So why are they doing this? Huh? It doesn't make sense. Huh? If one person hit it, everybody's gone. Do you understand? Because the other person is going to, they're going to just do it. Ah! <laughs> Cancel each other out. It won't be nobody here. So who's going to do it? You might as well to yourself. You know? To yourself. That's me logically thinking. But maybe, why would they want to uh, 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 accumulate all this money? They can never get enough money. They can't get enough of it. If you're going to do this. Call it quits. Why are you still fighting? And sending the 18 to 26 male and female to fight something that's useless. That's over. Huh? I'm going in. Jesse Bonics. I'm going in. It's acceptable now because the, what is it? The box and the uh, computer AI is picking up Ebonics. <laughs> we in the house now, y'all, for real. We can say all kind of ain't, gonna, wanna. Yeah, hey, hey, we in the house now. And they in the house too because of social media. Because of social media, the internet, we have given them all our jewels. They got it. You can go to class and learn anything you want on internet. You can learn how to build a car. So surely you can go in there and find out what make black people tick. I want to be just like them, you know, because now they play uh, jazz just like us. That channel, Chill, Chill Hop. I be hearing some profound jazz. I mean, it make me get up. and make me want to shout. I said, oh, that's got so much soul in it. Oh, that sounds damn good. <laughs> and I look them up. And they Caucasians. And, and, and they say, now, just enjoy the music. You see what I'm saying? They have taken it over. And now I can see where... In the future, nobody will know that black folks created hip hop, jazz, reggae, because they playing reggae now. You can tell though it's fake. You you can tell. I could tell about the reggae, but with this jazz on chill hop, they jamming. And what it is, listen to the kicker. It's not even. Yeah, that's right, even. I used to feel bad about saying even but now it's acceptable they don't even play real instruments they using synthesizers and taking pieces and cutting shit out of other people music and you know what by me being an old timer I could tell when you snip it something from the 60s and the 50s on up I know because I have been I am a connoisseur on music so that's what they doing now nothing is real it's fake 
So, peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in to listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. And oh, I'm going to end with this. I like my comments. I learn from these people out here. Twice I've been rebuked about uh, making videos and driving. I've been called names and I like to get back with them too. I, I, I tell them where they mama come from. I do. I get back with you. That's in me. I'm a Detroiter. I'm going to jank back on your ass. Don't bother me. But they want to know how I can drive. I'm driving and talking. And I informed them if they had a car. Have they ever talked to someone in the car? Car. Huh? Even if you was in the back seat, driving or in the passenger seat, you never had a communication with someone in the car that's driving? Don't talk to me stupid. I can't stand it. So, I can't talk and drive? You calling me ignorant. You mean I can't walk and chew gum at the same time? I can do it. I've been driving since 1970. And I don't want to speak, but I have never had. Okay? Never had one. Okay? All those years. My father, Albert Weaver, taught me how to drive. 1969, white body, black top, impeller. Chevrolet. Okay. I was only a hundred pounds and that car was real. It was automobile. That's what you call a, a automobile. It was made out of steel. It had steel bumpers. Okay. It was a car. I didn't know how big it was, but I would uh, open up the door and it, it would like push me in. It would just knock me in. That's how the steel door was and how light of a feather I was. Because now these cars are made out of, what is it, fiberglass and plastic. But anyway, thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Yeah, I can drive and speak it to the mic at the same damn time. I mean, good gracious. I know this young generation, I don't know what to call them. Is it Gen Z, X, Y, Z? I'm a baby boomer, but I can uh, 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 walk and chew gum at the same time. I can do that. They don't even know, like I said, how to spell these countries where the government is getting ready to send them to fight for a cause they know not of. They don't even know what six times nine is. Ask them. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe.